Hello, welcome back to Sew April. So, today is one of those no sewing videos. I will be sh sharing what I made for my granddaughter, and I made her a horse folio and a mini junk journal out of file folders. So, and they're both made out of file folders. So, if you're interested on that, then stick around. If you're not, then don't worry about watching. Okay, so for one, I'm going to give her all the extra stickers in a bag, except for this one. It says, Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy. Yes, I know it's a song, but not appropriate for a nine-year-old little girl. So, we're getting that out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and move the camera down to where you can see what I'm showing you instead of me just, well, I'll show, I'll hold it up real quick. So, this is the one file folder folio and this way you get a view of the size and then this is the mini junk journal book thing so okay so here we go when you open it up there's this little door here or a little flap and then you open it up and inside there's a pocket and I made a little journal card and I stitched around it and I think I did pretty good on my collaging I'm just going to take those out as I go and then this one inspire and then again she can write on there's coffee dyed paper there and then there's the little bottom pockets and this one when you open it up which I only put the um, closure I just pretty much made one longer so it doesn't flop open so and oh and there's more stickers in the pockets I'm not taking all the stickers out so when you open it up there's I wrote well it's got a stamp Handmade for you by Gigi, and then I put my name and the the year and month, and then this little card and the free ticket, free pat ride ticket pass comes out, and then this picture of her comes out, and then there's a picture of her on the horse. That one is glued down, so she cannot take it out, but I thought she would enjoy having one she could take out. And I thought it was kind of cool how the branches kind of lined up. So, and then I made a little fake button on the inside of that. Um, and with all the stickers I have in here, she can put them anywhere she wants on this to decorate. So then we open this up again. And now we've got... A pocket here with stickers. I'm just going to drop everything out. And then we have a pocket here that's sideways for stickers and stuff. And then it opens up. And then there's a another pocket with more stickers. And then I put that one on there. And then we go over to this one, this was the first pocket I did and my favorite. I love it. And then the journal card here, believe. And she can write on that. And then it opens up some more. And I'm just going to try to do them in order. So this one, okay, so behind it I have some horse iron-on patches her mom can put on a hat shirt jacket pants whatever she wants to do and then this has a sticker and I use my die cut so she can open it up like a little window and then I stitched around all of those it says follow your dreams and more coffee dyed paper and then oh and behind that that was the pocket and I used a 
um, heart die cut and then put that sticker in the middle and then on this one I had a hard time with that pocket deciding what to do and then I got her a little horse necklace off of Timu and then this journal card says be yourself and it has that and then I have a little stamp with the horse and then on the side here it has a this is what's called a belly band and it has another card and that one says dream I really had fun making these these were so fun and then I wrote her a note I said Sophie I love you very much Gigi P.S. there are a few treasures in the pockets so I thought she would enjoy that and then that's back to the the back of the um, book I was going to have it fold a different way but after I added this uh, lace here it wouldn't so I had to come up with a new way to close it up and like I said this closure is right in here so if you need to see how that closes there's a little slot there and there's a surprise on this little spot here you pull it out of this little tab sometimes it can be hard to find but it's right there in that little area I made a little notebook where she can write notes and er, on the back it says everything that you are is enough and then it just slips right back in there and she can put stickers on anything of this she can write notes or anything she wants I just thought it was really cute and fun and then this one is the little mini junk journal book okay so I have the closure the same way I actually designed the closure on this one first so it's the back piece is a little shorter and it says explore um, honestly when I made this first I just had the book and I will well let me flip through it and then I'll show you it can come out so I used my die cut for the little cross hatching grid and then I added the stickers and then here's the book there's a little pocket and there's some like I'm not taking all these little tags out but they're just little tags of horses and then stickers and then coffee dye paper and then more uh, tags and then some of them I just threw stickers in myself because why not and I thought that was cute having the horse standing in the pocket like that I thought she would like that and some horses look like they're going to a meeting and then I wrote her another note and then because I wanted to know that she can write on these and here's another little card Whoop. and then that's the center of it that's where I sewed the book together and then this is a belly band and I put Groot in there it says explore I had another group somewhere. I don't know if it's in here or if it's in the other book. But yeah, I really had fun. And here's more tags. And she can write on the back of the tags. And here's a little postcard. Whoops, I'm dropping these. And she can write on the back of that. Sorry, I don't want to end up losing all these stickers in here. I have enough on the floor to pick up. So, and then there's more stickers. And then there's the big pocket with um, some more tags in here and then more stickers. And that's the end. And I wrote, um, handmade by uh, Gigi. You can barely see that on this one. Okay, so, 
how you take this one out is you find the center where the strings are and there's an elastic you just pull the book out from that so that's how it was and I just felt like it needed a little something more so that's why I put the little elastics there so that way she can just you know have a little book for it, a little book cover for it so yeah anyways I really hope my granddaughter enjoys it and I hope y'all enjoyed watching this video until next time I'll catch you later bye